Continuing our coverage at National Police Week in Washington, D.C. So we kicked off the week with a 5K, K-9 Memorial Police Unity Tour, Top Cop Awards, and just last night we covered the candlelit vigil. So this morning, the Valley Today's Tatum Miller is joining us live from the Capitol, giving us a glimpse into today's events. Good morning, Tatum. Good morning, guys. 727 here in Washington, D.C., and we are live right on Capitol Hill, where the National Honor Guard Pipe Band Competition is set to begin in just a few hours, right over my left shoulder near the reflecting pool. So this is going to pay tribute to the fallen officers we've been honoring all week. But at the end of the day, it's also just a little friendly competition. Of course, we're celebrating the survivors, the men and women who continue to do what they do as well. Reporter Anna Ball Weber and I I had the chance to meet some of these pipe bands at the police unity tour on Sunday and let me tell you, you are in for a treat. So the competition has three parts to it. The first one is team inspection. They're going to take a look at all the pipe bands, uniforms, make sure everything's in line. The second one is the posting of the colors. And then the last one is exhibition. So we'll also hear from Mayor Mahoney there because he'll be at the competition and we'll be following along all week. We're very excited. Live from Capitol Hill, Tatum Miller for Valley News Live. Back to you at the studio. Yeah, thank you so much Tatum for that live look this morning. Great work with your coverage out there for National Police Week. And we'll continue our National Police Week coverage throughout the day. So keep checking with Valley News Live as we bring you some updates. And we'll have our team's complete coverage on air, but if you miss anything, we'll have them posted to our VNL News app. Download and use it for free. Just search VNL News in the App Store today.